New York, it took a while, but the Devils offense got its groove back as Saturday's game against the Rangers progressed. Despite recording just three first-period shots, the Devils bounced back, while erasing a one-goal deficit en route to a 3-2 win over the Rangers at Madison Square Garden. The win marked the Devils' first at MSG since October 18, 2015. After shuffling the lines to start the second period, the Devils, 4-1-0, a fans found some traction behind a line of Adam Enrique, Miles Wood and Brian Gibbons. The Rangers, 1-5-0, snagged a 1-0 lead at 5-31 of the second, when Rick Nash scored on a low shot from the left circle, but that line got the Devils the shot they desperately needed. Gibbons used a strong forecheck to keep the puck in the Devils' offensive zone, then he gathered it behind the net and fed Hinnerk in front, where he scored his sixth career regular season goal against the Rangers to tie the game at 1-1 at 10-21. What needed to change versus Nur? What needed to change versus Nur? What to watch when the Devils play the Rangers for the first time this season? Miles Wood deflected a Ben Lovejoy shot from the points later in the second period to give the Devils a 2-1 lead at 16:41. The teams opened the third period skating 4 on 4 for 2 minutes, and the Devils picked up a 4 on 3 power play 40 seconds into play. That led to a goal backhanded goal in front of net for Drew Stafford after defenseman Will Butcher hesitated after crossing the blue line before hitting a cutting Stafford at 1 o'clock for a 3-1 lead. Butcher assisted on Woods and Stafford's goals, giving him eight assists through his first five NHL games. The Rangers pulled within 3-2 on a Kevin Shattenkirk goal with 56.8 seconds left, while skating 6-on-5. Goalie Keith Kincaid looked sharp in his season debut, saving 29 of the 31 shots he faced in his first ever start at Madison Square Garden. Slow start. The Devils were looking to rebound from a shaky performance on Friday in a 5-2 loss to the Washington Capitals, but they lacked energy and consistency in the first period. The Rangers outshot them, 14-3, in the first 20 minutes, but goalie Keith Kincaid kept the game scoreless. The Devils rebounded by registering 12 shots in the second period, while holding the Rangers to three. Sending a message. Forwards Pavel Zaka, Marcus Johansson and Jimmy Hayes all took two shifts or less during the second period, and none played in the third period. After the team's sluggish start, it appeared coach John Hines tried to send a message. Stafford returns. Stafford's first goal as a Devils highlight is returned to the lineup after he missed the previous three games with a lower body injury. Stafford came into the season as a veteran presence in the top six, and Devils coach John Hines expected him to add a valuable piece back to the Devils puzzle. Advertising When you look at him in the preseason, he's a very smart player, he's very hard on the puck, Hines said. He's a strong puck skill player, where he can make plays in traffic, he can fend guys off. He can maintain pucks in the offensive zone. When you look at him, what he can bring to the power play, poise, goal scoring, so we're excited to have him back in. We felt he's worked hard to get himself ready to play tonight, and we feel like we're getting a really good player in the lineup. Next up. The Devils have a busy week coming with three games in four nights, starting with a 7.30 p.m. game on Tuesday, when they host the Tampa Bay Lightning at the Prudential Center. The Devils travel to Ottawa to play the Senators on Thursday, before returning to New Jersey for a Friday game against the San Jose Sharks.